Hello, it's Andrew. In our previous video, we've learned how to check conditions during certain time. Now we'll look at how to send certain parameters from the algorithm to the monitoring software, for example, sending alarm attributes or values of custom variables. For that, we will use a new action block, write tag. Galileo Sky Protocol is using many tags to send data. Almost all of them are connected with existing variables and parameters in the firmware. This action also uses one of eight tags existing in the protocol, but which are empty by default. These tags were created specifically for sending custom data from easy logic algorithms. Each tag size is 4 bytes. Using the action, we can record a certain number as well as any variable used in the algorithm. Let's set the algorithm to send to the server 10 second speed violation attribute, as well as geofence number where the violation occurred and the number of seconds during which the violation was found. For that, we will need a little change of places. Let's place mathematics before the condition to continue counting even after violation was found. We add the write tag block, choose user tag 0 and write count variable into it. This way, this tag will contain time period during which speed limit was violated. Now we will add one more write tag element and into it we will record the current geofence variable value. The tag will now be user tag 1. Now, tag1 will send number of current geofence. As I already told you, when the tracker is outside any geofence, variable value is equal to minus 1. Since we send only unsigned integers to the server, value written into tag will be first from the possible values taken from maximum side for a 4 byte range, which is 4 billion, 294 million, and so on. In order to receive correct values, we put in the action block after checking of being inside a geofence. And if the tracker is outside all geofences, we manually write zero into it. Finally, we add last write into tag block after we go past the 10 second check. We write value 1 into tag 2. On the server, we can interpret this value as alarm because of the speed limit violation. In the beginning of the algorithm, we write zero into this tag to stop sending alarm when there is no violation. We can write any number of values into tags, modified existing variables, custom variables, or even events attributes. Anything your project may require. In our next video, I will show you how to turn on and off different internal units inside the tracker.